In quantum chemistry, we looked at various energy levels and now in this video we'll focus on two types of energy levels that are actually known in quantum chemistry. One is called the discrete energy level and while the other one here is continuous energy level and both energy levels are actually different from each other not only in terms of the diagrams but the illustrations that will be shown in here first looking at the discrete one in terms of the particle positioning first is particle in a box actually experience the discrete energy level and in here we have a box where the walls are not penetrating and what we notice here is that the wall has a potential energy that is infinity on both sides and uh, inside the box in here with a distance which is L has a potential energy which is equals to zero. So what we can infer in here is that in this particular case we have energies that are discrete which are, are i will say specific in terms of each levels or each state starting from n equals zero n equals one two or n equals two and so on like that now on the other side in here we have the continuous where we have a free particle in space and the free particle in space implies that the potential energy going from negative infinity to positive infinity in terms of x is actually equal to zero so what that implies is that there is no discrete energies in this particular free space where a particle is positioned in now furthermore we actually notice that the energy of the system in the discrete manner has a quantized state distribution of the particles with respect to the energies while on the continuous part they are not actually quantized states reason is because the quantum of energy levels makes its energy not quantized due to the translation energy so due to the translation energy we have non-quantized state in the continuous energy levels so as a result of that what we have is that for the quantum state in a discrete manner we have energy levels that are actually a specific energy which in terms of states is like saying n equals 1 n equals 0 n equals 2 n equals 3 and so on however in the non-quantized state we just have a band where a particle can actually exist anywhere in here and there is no specific energy that a particle must actually obtain in here now furthermore we actually recognize that in this case of the boundary states we do recognize that the discrete manner does have bound states and this bound states are actually recognized to have this particular arrangement of particles with respect to the n level or either the n states in there either from ground states to the inside state which is one or two or three however in the other side which is the continuous energy level there is no boundaries in there so there is no bound states in the continuous energy so what that implies is that the energies here they are actually scattered and there is no specific levels or states present in the continuous energy levels so as a result of this for the bound states we actually recognize that the probability of finding any particle which is expressed as this will approach zero as the particle which is with respect to the position expressed as x actually goes to 
infinity in this particular manner. So what that implies is that once we get to know both of these particular energy levels, we actually arrive at the combination of both which is called a mixed energy state. Now the mixed energy state actually is present in some systems and these systems actually shows that both the discrete where we looked at this particular energy state that are bounded and also the one with the unbounded state they actually coexist in a particular system and as a result of this particular situation we have some allowed states that are actually bounded and some other states which are actually non-bounded and in this case the mixed energy levels are caused like this particular diagram where if you combine both in here we have a situation where you have the wall which is representing the particle in a box and then we have this free space right here and uh, what happens is that in here looking at this in terms of the energy increase from down to up in here and noticing that this here represents our potential energy which is equal to zero as we move from lower energy to higher energy what we see is that we move from higher energy states where we go from this here to that in there and what we recognize is that as we go from lower states to higher state we go into penetrating walls and this is kind of interesting in here because what we recognize is that the more we penetrate through the walls the more we move to higher energies and what the result is a situation where you actually have more energy that leads to more penetration through the walls and on the other side here which is actually the ground state we would have localized and can be penetrating through the quantum walls in this particular state going from ground state here over to higher states right there so the ground state has the least penetration while going into higher energy we have higher penetration through the walls until you move to the free particle space where there is unlimited continuous possible where energies that a particle can exist out so all the same please guys hit the comment down below let me hear your thought about this and if you have any explanations that you would love to actually express please share it in the comment section by that way i can actually respond to it and talk to you over there all the same stay smart believe in yourself and strive for greatness